My buddy Nuno Maduro, who's been around the Laravel community for a number of years now, has a few, I guess, a few months, maybe even a couple of years ago, it's, it's been around for a while, introduced this collision package, um, which is essentially a, a beautiful error reporting tool when interacting with your command line applications. And it gives you a lot more context around what's happened when your command line um, app has, has executed something. So whether it was an artisan command or if you run migrations or whatever, um, you get a lot more feedback. Now, one thing that's been introduced recently into the uh, Laravel framework that I think is kind of nice is the new test runner. Um, so by default, if you were to just run your unit test, you just get this plain PHP unit output. It tells you, you know, there was a failure. It happened in this method of this class uh, on this line of this test. And it it's not overly exciting to look at. It It's a bit hard to read because it's all the same color and you don't really get a lot of context around what's happened. Um, but in Laravel 7, we have introduced this new artisan test runner, which if you use this PHP artisan test command, uh, it'll give you much nicer and more concise feedback. So you've got here that the test file, unit example test has failed. The basic test has passed. However, the it can assert false is true has failed. And it'll drop you right in that um, class and it will show you the line that's failed and what was on that line. So you get immediate context of what failed and why. Now, I have for the longest time used this unit alias in my test and um, it's quite reflexive for me to drop into the command line and to run that. And if I run that, I just get this plain old output, which is fine, but as I said, hard to read and, and reason about. Now, the way that this is implemented with collision is just as a simple printer class that you can set in your PHP unit.xml configuration file um, and use it as your default for all of your tests. So if you just drop it in here, if I can spell Nuno's name properly, uh, collision adapters PHP unit printer And drop back in here, if we were to run vendor bin PHP unit, it'll pick that up from your PHP unit.xml file and it will give you that feedback straight away. If I'm using my alias, same thing. You know, it's a lot nicer, it's a lot cleaner and it gives you that immediate feedback. And it's particularly useful if you're using stop on failures or stop on errors because it'll stop as soon as you've errored out and it'll show you exactly where that errors happen. The other thing that I really like um, about this is if you've got a larger test, as the uh, tests are running, it will actually stop and it will show you, you know, that feature UID, UUID test is running. And this, if you noticed it in the video, you probably won't because it's a quick test, but if you roll the video back and pause it, um, you will see there that it says run, right? That the test is running and it'll flick through each of those ones. So um, maybe if we just pop this open, test feature UUID test. And let's just put a sleep in here for dramatic effect into one of these tests. Sleep five. And then you'll be able to see this probably with a little bit more clarity. So you can see it's runs, right? Tests, two, two are fast, 20 are pending. You can find a model by two already and then off she goes. So it's um, it's a really nice way of, of dealing with your tests. It's a lot cleaner. It provides a lot more concise feedback. It drops you right into the context of where there has been an error so that you can go in there and have a look at exactly the line that's caused an error or that, you know, has failed in your test and, and get on with it. So I think it's a lot cleaner. Um, and if you want to use it by default, rather than having to remember to use PHP artists and tests or, or whatever else, then um, it's definitely a nice way of going about it. So check it out if that's of interest to you.